Y'all gonna see me on street these two. I'm putting it right there. You see this? You see that energy? I'm, I'm, I'm right there. I'm there. I'm just not there yet, but I'm there. I just killed that dude. Knocked him out. Y'all saw it, but you didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? Look. another video like i said a month ago in my muay thai video i was gonna be on street beefs you know what i'm saying taking souls and that's what we did today or not today this uh as of this recording this was four days ago this was february 24th as you can see up here but um yeah before i start the reaction the breakdown of what my game plan was and explain everything i did right and wrong uh, uh. excuse me but, um, I just want to say shout out Street Beast Scrapyard, uh, shout out Fire Chicken on me. I felt what he got going on. Shout out Street Beast in general, like the whole organization. Um, yeah, I fucked with everything. I fucked with the community there. It was, it was amazing. Like I said, y'all, I like fighting. I'm gonna pursue this, see how far I can go. But like I said, I'm doing my true dream is to see the world. And like I said, when I went in there at the Street Beast Scrapyard, um, the whole community there. I liked it. It was a bunch of people from. It was a dude who drove from like he was like from the Boston, Mass, you know, Massachusetts area. Drove all the way across the country just to do. You know, he could have went to the other street beast, but you know, he chose Washington. He chose to go across the country. And then there was some Russian guys that came there. There was a bunch of like other people. It's just like I say, a fighting is one of those human. Every human lang like you know, it's those five human languages. Like like every human knows laughter. You know, like you smile, we all dance, we all eat food, you know what I'm saying? And we all know to fight, or not know to fight, but every culture has fighting in it, you know what I'm saying? No matter what color you are, no matter what you worship, no matter what it is, your culture got some kind of martial arts in, inside of there, and that's just part of human nature. And like I said, when you're there, y'all, there's no, like, prejudice, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're all here to see blood, we're here to fight, we're here to see it, and that's what it is, you know? So... I like it, and also I want to say that the coaches and everybody there is legit. Like, um, when I, I got there early, it was one. This was the I was the second fight, just so y'all know. But I got there early. It was like a whole two hour waiting process. Everyone was signing up and stuff, and the coaches there, uh, the coach uh, Anomaly here, the older guy with the bucket hat right here, um, and uh, Fire Chief too, and everyone else, all the staff. Uh, it's all legit. They all legit. They know like they break down the rules for every fighting style. You know they break down the boxing rules, Muay Thai rules, MMA rules, kickboxing rules, and grappling rules. Um, yeah. So this is a kickboxing match. Um, I signed up for kickboxing, Muay Thai, or MMA. And yeah, but like I said, this is my first. Uh, this is my first amateur fight. Um, I'm just gonna tell y'all round one and training. Basically, my training going into us into this especially the last two weeks i was more focused on defense because i didn't know my opponent i didn't know you know there's like again street beats it's kind of random it's amateur you, you might get a really talented guy you might get a berserker guy you might get a guy who don't know to fight you know you get you get all these you know the matchup can be a little random so i was just like you know i'm just gonna focus on defense and countering and that's how i went to the, went into this round one so let's just get into it let's break it down <clears throat> And I'm gonna break down every little thing I did. And I also forgot to mention, as we can see, we're watching the February, the live fights. As of this moment of this recording, they have it posted, like, as you see, he's recording, you know, the edited version where it's more up close, better quality. Uh, this was just the live off of the phone. So, you know. But when that video comes out, we're gonna react to it just the same. So it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna do it right now. so that you guys can t uh, check it out. Do you need an invite? No, you can just you can just sign up, dude. Sorry. All right, y'all can already see I got my rhythm. I avoid that f that lead kick. Whoa. Boom! I'm going to go back to that. All right, so off rip, y'all. Y'all already see the stats. As soon as before that bell ring, I'm already in my fucking stance. I'm in my Muay Thai stance. You know, I'm right here with it. I got my lead leg. I'm in the southpaw position. I'm more squared. I'm looking good. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go into it. Boom. So right here, I touch gloves. He throws his lead. I avoid that. Now look, y'all. Look at the position of his legs right here. You see, I'm fainting a little bit. 
I'm just closing distance again to that kill zone. Then, like, right here, I'm looking. I get a look. I'm like, mm, that kneecap looking nice. And I remember when I threw my that leg kick, my rear leg kick right there. I was like, this is going to snap. Because I was like, I'm trying to break that shit. I ain't going to lie. Mm. Oh. And also, that fucked my leg up. I just, like, recently, my leg's getting better. Though. Yeah, my shit was hurting for a few days. I ain't going to lie. That kick, but, you know, I don't feel it in the moment. <laughs> That Little one two, cool. kind of sloppy, but I got him. Mm. Nice sweep. I'm gonna show y'all the sweep too. There was, there was. I don't know if y'all peeped that I did a little switch dance. Like I said, I'm southpaw as you can see. So, right hand's my lead, right foot. I hit him with a solid little right hook, a little bit. It was, a, it was enough to stop him from kicking me. Kind of. This one, not really a good hit. I'm not gonna lie, but it was kind of just to get him out the way. You know, it, it was working. I thought he threw something there, covered up. And then right here, y'all. Like I said, I'm southpaw. I'm moving, I'm dancing, right there. Y'all can already peep. As soon as he, I, I see he step in for his jab, I immediately put my left foot right here and just, you know, look at that, look at that. I kicked him right underneath that thigh behind the knee, just right there, as he's, you know, stepping in to try and punch. And you see my hand is touching his his uh, his glove, kind of parrying, but the way I parry y'all, y'all about to see. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all probably see this more, but sometimes the way I parry, I kind of... I'll use if I'm I'll lean back as you see I'm lean back and I'll kind of use both I'll clamp both both my hands for a quick second on your forearm or glove and then I'll throw something at you you know what I'm saying I, ain't I do that I'll do that sometimes so you see I did that I kind of clamped on his arm for a second through the kick <clears throat> sweep him <clears throat> he gets back up I'm dancing I'm weaving gonna look for an opening block that no. another leg kick no windmill. Showing him some. I thought, you know, I'm weaving. I'm just ready. I teep him right here. Oh. I'm going to tell you right now, that didn't hurt. Fake Superman to a fucking leg kick. Beautiful. I do listen to him. I try to throw one. I ain't going to lie. This one right here. I kind of graze him right here. It looks like he hits me here, but I weave it. His, his uh, hook kind of goes around my other arm. So I just throw a hook of my own. Boom. I'll play that in full time for y'all. <laughs> I'm out there And I just want y'all to know As y'all can see I mean kind of I got my rhythm going You see I'm kind of dancing around I'm kind of I'm moving my head My arms like You know I'm keeping my head Off the center line Like I said I was focusing On defense <clears throat> And you know That was the thing I was working on in the gym You know Having more rhythm With my head Like I had the rhythm With my body <clears throat> But when it came to the gym, I would move everything. But, you know, my head is kind of stationary. So I've been working on that. So you see, I'm in rhythm. Gig Harbor has a cold team. Oh, God. Yeah. All right, now right there. Even the ref says, uh, I remember Anomaly says something like, watch the groin. And I like tap my chest. <clears throat> so I was aiming up like right on the belly button area. Mm -hmm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that's your pancreas and like diaphragm and shit. But I know he do a good front teep because I've had it happen to me or a good knee. That shit hurts, especially if you're not breathing in. So that's what I was aiming for, as you'll see later. Almost, uh... Weaved that. Covered up on that. Got my rhythm still. Yeah. <clears throat> then right here, y'all. All right, all right, hold on. Right here, y'all. This was good. This was good textbook. Jab. Like I said, I was more cautious this round. I should have capitalized more, but y'all about to see right here. So I faint. Boom. As I faint, cross. Oh. Right hook. We're gonna throw it. Let's, let's put, play that in real time for y'all. Then we'll break it down. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I backed up there because, like I said, you know, I was being more cautious. But this faint right here, this, this is like textbook boxing right here. So I faint. As I throw this faint, he throws his left. And he's about to throw a hook. And also, I forgot to mention as well, before, like I said, we had a two-hour, like, waiting period. You know, everyone's, like, shadow boxing, warming up. I ain't gonna lie, I peeped, I peeped the homie 12-gauge. I peeped him shadow boxing. He was throwing some crazy, mean, like, really fast hooks when he was shadow boxing. So, like I said, I was already going into this more, like, defensive counter, you know, more counter-defensive kind of, like, a sniper, pick them apart, see what they'll do. So when I peeped that he that, and when he was shadow box and he was throwing the mean hooks, um, I was more worried about the hooks. Like, as you see right here, when I faint, I knew he was about to throw a hook. 
as you'll see, he moves that hand. You see that shoulder? I saw that shoulder moving. Boom. As soon as he about to throw it, y'all, I hit him with that clean cross. Look at the look at my feet. Look at my lead. Right behind him, right behind his lead. I'm right behind the shoulder. He's looking away. He's looking in this direction towards the crowd. I'm still facing him. I'm still looking at him. He's still looking away, y'all. And I register right here. Oh, this nigga's not looking at me. Boom. At a time he faces me. Look at that. I'm over his shoulder. Boom. Just like uh, what's his name? Uh, Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse said, you know, when you get behind that shoulder, it's a free shot. So, you know, boom, solid right hook. You can see the little vibrations right there through the power of that. And right here, y'all, like I said, I was going cautious. I should have just, you know, pummeled him with one twos, but it was whatever. It was whatever. It was, it hurt him. I was just picking him apart. You see, he kind of slows down after that. And right there, I kept trying to do it again. You see, I'm trying to step over. Even that right there, y'all. What I should have done, I should have already like, I should have sh not showed my punch too early. Like I was already engaging the punch. So he sees it coming and he weaves it pretty nicely. And uh, my foot right here, honestly, like I said, I should have just fainted or something. I could have tripped him or just kicked him and get him off balance. Or, like I said, I couldn't have just waited a little bit, like a millisecond sooner before I showed my punch. But yeah. For your bet on white pants. Well, let's see. Solid leg kick right there. Made him switch stances. Ooh, that was a solid counter too. Let's go to that. Like I said, y'all know if y'all peep, but I will when I block sometimes I'll kinda like close the gates on your, your punch or your something on your attack. Like right here. You see I quickly like just clamp real quick. And then you see I'm all, I'm, I'm pointing that with the finger, but you see I clamp and I'm already engaging that right hook. Solid, right to the chin, right there. Solid. I should have twisted in a little more, but it was still a solid hit. Clean. All right, now right here, y'all. As y'all saw in the beginning, I did a fake Superman punch to a leg kick. Now this one, I'm gonna get the pause. Right there. I was, like I said, I was looking out for his hooks, right? So, right here in this quick little second, I'm looking at him. I'm like, I'm about to throw this motherfucking right hand, and you know. You know, push the you know push this back leg here, push the right hand. You know, engage with the Superman punch. But where I'm looking at y'all, you see my eye level. I don't see his glove right here. I just see his shoulder, right? That's what I'm really looking at when, you know, when I'm in a fight. If I'm looking for you to attack, I don't really look at your hands. I mean, I, of course I look at your hands, but I'm mostly looking at your shoulders, maybe your elbow. You know what I'm saying? But if you're a good puncher, you can hide that elbow like bend pretty well. So I'm looking at his shoulder. So right here, you know, I'm looking. I noticed there's nothing here. There's nothing on my chin, right? So I'm thinking he's about to come up top, you know, but he was a little low. I don't think he expected me to jump. But yeah, if he just went up top, boom, that would have, mm, but he didn't. So I, but I was expecting a little more from him. So I expect a little too much. So I kind of flail right here and kind of just overextend. But I reset. And then right here, like I said, y'all, you, you can even see I'm blocking. Like I'm, I'm prepared for his hooks. And right here, look, I throw in a jab, boom. We're gonna go back one more time. So I throw the jab. The homie 12 gauge, excellent slip, good jab right here, but I'm gonna keep it a B, y'all. This did not hurt me. Um, he used my me stepping in against me, so it was enough to make me look up. And like you see, I kind of flailed for a little bit. I got him two times while I was kind of freaking out. I flailed, I got a hook and a little hammer fist in there, but um, yeah, this was a solid, solid lead jab slip. He even look, 12 gauge, he's looking right at me. He could have capitalized on this moment. He could have threw that right hook, got over my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Or that left hook, I mean, it would have been the right side of my body. But, or if he would have stepped in more, that jab would have been more devastated. If he would have put his foot more towards my crotch, it would have hurt like hell. But honestly, it just got me looking up. But you see, I'm still pressuring him. I get him with a little hook. I kind of start flailing a little bit. I block that. And then, you know, but I, and this thing a lot right here, y'all, was not trying to hit him. I'm gonna go back to that. I was not trying to hit him. Right here, I was trying to, right there. You see, I'm, I'm trying to hit his arm right here, his, his hand right here. I blocked that and I'm expecting another one. <laughs> and I just accidentally hit him. But I mean, not accidentally. It was an accidental hit, but I'm supposed to hit him. So it happens. You see, I, I weaved that out the way. I tried to do a kick, but it wasn't too hard on him. He kind of berserked me right there a little bit, a little rush. 
Mm. Solid right hook. Nice kick. Almost, uh, almost made him fall. All right, y'all. Now, right here, you hear the bell rings. I put my wings up on them. I heard the bell ring. They said 10 seconds. Like I said, I was trying to get a good front tee. Front kick right on the belly button area, right? Which can be a little risky because, like, you know, it's hard not to hit the groin and stuff. But I'm trying to go. You see where his, his pants are? I'm trying to just go right here. Right on those belt loop lines, right? So, y'all about to see. One, two, three, four. Oh, perfect. Nice. It wasn't perfect, but... Right. We're gonna break that down. So look y'all perfect right here. So I meant to do a jumping front kick like I said But again what ended up happening. I would like I said I was expecting a lot of hooks from 12 gauge, right? So yeah, right here. He kind of he kind of got me there actually Okay, right there my toes is right here. I know it kind of looked like I'm hitting his balls But I promise you it was not hitting his balls. I was my toes are right here I'm putting all the force into the ball of your foot, right? So my toes are right there, boom. I'm hitting them right there. And I saw his hand. He was throwing a hook, I thought. So I flailed a little bit, but so I put all my hip flexors. I just activated them all. Kind of made this like three, like, you know, little three shape to my body. You see this right here. But I kicked them away from me. It was good, it was a good teep, little drop kick, little drop teep. You know, I land on my butt, but I get back up. I'm still ready, I'm like, all right. All right. Now look, y'all. Nice, nice round. As you see, you can hear even right here. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all. See, I'm watching him, right? I'm noticing he's leaving the cage, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Yeah, obviously this was like a pro fight. You don't leave the cage, but um, you know it's amateur. They have water, like right where this gentleman's recording on the the live feed. There's like a he's on a ladder, obviously. There's a um, little coolers of water. And sometimes the fighters will like grab those real quick, right? Like they'll leave get, get a water like during the breaks. So, I was thinking he was just grabbing water, coming back in the cage. And then, yeah, people are telling him, stay in the ring. And then, shout out Lights out here. He was cornering me, giving advice. And, like like I said, round two. Well, I didn't say, but uh, round two, y'all, we was about to go crazy. We, I was about to, like I said, I picked him apart. That whole left side of his body, I fed him right hooks. Uh, a lot of leg kicks to his lead leg. He was one of the orthodox most of the time, but I was making him switch to southpaw, which I also think was a little uncomfortable for him when he was in, you know, southpaw. But I'm not gonna lie, I get a little, I don't really spar with too many southpaw people, so I get, you know, it's a little awkward for me too. But um, I got him out of his comfort zone. I had his whole left side of his body was compromised. Second round, I was like, all right, now it's time to just get in there, you know, stop being a little cautious, you know what I'm saying? Time to just get my rhythm in there, start dancing on them for real, you know what I'm saying? That was just the, the intro, you know what I'm saying? Now it's time to get to the dance floor. That was a terrible quote, but <laughs> you get, you know what I'm saying? So look, Lights Out's giving advice, and uh, yeah, even here, he says he's about to throw up. And, and, yeah, yeah, you know, basically, you know, we'll go ahead and skip it for him. We'll just get to the thing, but um, that front kick, um, yeah, he threw up, and um, <laughs> yeah, so I got a PKO. Continue. Nice. Good job. Oh God, real to Phil. Shout out. Woo! Oh God. I also want to show, hold on, cause I did kind of skip ass, you know, I, I just want to show, I shook up, you know, the, I'm respect, I'm a respectable, uh, opponent, y'all, like, see, I, I just want to, I just want to show that, you know, good sportsmanship, like I said, no hard feelings against 12 gauge, you know, we signed a waiver, and we, we came here to fight, like I said, it's a community there, and I just want to, I just want to let that be known, y'all, that, you know, I'm a respectable fighter, but, I am respectable, but if a motherfucker want to get ignorant, just know I'm fucking ignorant and crazy, too. But, um, yeah, other than that, y'all, um, that's pretty much the fight. Um, like I said, so I, I won. I got a, a PKO, a, a puke out. But, um, whatchamacall, y'all, it was, it was good, man. It was good. Like I said, when I, when I stepped in that ring and we were waiting and stuff, like I said, even weeks leading to the, before the fight, I was a little, like, anxious a little bit. I was, like, trying not to get too excited, not trying to get too fearful, because, you know, I didn't know my, who my opponent would be. And, you know, Street Beast got, you know, it's a variety of people. You know, you can get some some slobs to some amateurs. 
to some real talented motherfuckers and people that have gone pro from this. And that's what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to do, I should say. But, you know, so I was just all in those emotions. But I want to tell you, once I, y'all see, I got my toes out. I got the toes out. Once I put my toes on the turf, I saw the Sasquatch and I'm looking around. There's all varieties of people and stuff. And it's just, I'm just ready to fight. <laughs> you know, I was just ready to fight. And I came in there and I did my thing. I played it smart. Like I said, I was more cautious. I guess I had um had one moment, I guess, where I flailed out a bit on the Superman. Uh, the word, like yeah, like I said, I kind of flailed a bit. Um, obviously, when the edited video come out, we're gonna watch that as well. Do another breakdown and more high quality. But yeah, like I said, this was solid. We got in there, we're in the field. We got that dub, so I'm one to know right now. And I'm gonna be going back. Um, like I said, my leg was hurting after the fight, but I didn't get hurt at all. Just my leg from the first leg kick. But, you know, that was four days ago at the time of this recording. It's healing up well. I can't run right now, but I can finally walk around. Like, I was actually limping for a bit. But, yeah. Yeah, you're going to see more of me on the Street Beast Scrapyard for show. For show. Like, probably within... It might be next month. They got an event next month. But, honestly, it might be April. Or, you know, but... Uh, I'm gonna let y'all know, of course, as of this recording. Um, yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm just, I'm just proud to put, I got myself in this position. You know what I'm saying, just, you gotta put yourself out there, y'all. Just put yourself out there sometimes. And um, yeah, I'm just glad I did that. I put myself out there. You know, I looked for it. I was training for it. You know, and I got the dub. You know, I got the dub, and you know that's good. And now I just gotta keep grinding. You know, that's one in one of many fights. So I gotta. You know, keep grinding, y'all. Like I said, there's always going to be someone better, someone stronger. So you got to train and get better. Hey, right, y'all, that's pretty much the end of this video. I appreciate everyone who's watching. If you made it to the end of the video, um, check out my Instagram. I'll put it probably right here. Uh, join the Discord server. That's the best way to get, you know, if you want to talk to me, play some video games. I'm doing like a whole little reboot of my Discord server at the moment. So come through, join. We can, like I said, play games, watch movies, anime, whatever the fuck. You know, have a vibe out, talk. And uh, what else? What else we got going on? I said Discord. Oh, yeah, my Twitch. Don't forget the Twitch. Uh, hold on, where the camera? Twitch is going to be somewhere this way. Boom. I can't point. But y'all, y'all, y'all go see. It's popped up. Sub to my Twitch. I'm up going back to live stream as well. Just live streaming shit, video games, chatting, vibing. Like I said, same deal. Anyway, y'all, it's real in the field. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the long run. Look, get it.